The actual S7 library is available for free download at the in-service websites at the service area. Here you find it. After downloading and saving the S7 library will be installed in the Sematic Manager with files de-archiving. We open an S7 sample project and there we have a look in the OB1 in the program editor. The InService 7 library contains all system blocks, SFBs and SFCs for different use. You see it here for the visualization, for communication functions, for CAN functions, for different other functions, and HGSend, HGReceive. For example, we load the SFC 200 into the sample project and assign the referring parameters. The logical address must be zero at all panel PLCs. Then we add the return value, busy flag, the screen ID, and then we assign the language ID. After that, we download the configured block into the PLC and display the block monitoring. Of course, we have to download the visualization with all its languages and screens here the whole sample project into the panel PLC as well, if we want to control it. Therefore, we identify all accessible nodes, select our device by its IP address. The visual stage compiles the visualization into a binary file and then it downloads this binary file into the selected PLC. In the block monitoring, you can see the screen ID number 16179 by the SFC 200. And here you see this ID number given by the Visu stage. Now we have a look on the language menu in the Visu stage editor with the screen ID number 9243. In the block monitoring you can see this as well and if you click on another language the ID for the language is also changed into 2057.